Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. We finish up today with Absalom. The story does not have a happy ending. David and Absalom's armies go to battle, but there's a twist on the part of David. Because even after all the persecution that Absalom has done to him, he tells his troops in chapter 18, verse 5, to deal gently with Absalom. Let's read it. It says, And the king ordered Job and Abishai and Ittai, deal gently for my sake with the young man Absalom. And all the people heard when the king gave orders to all the commanders about Absalom. David is still trying to, he's praying for his son. He's trying to have reconciliation. But as the battle ensued, Absalom got on his donkey and fled. And as he was going, his head got caught in the, in the branches of a huge oak tree. And verses 9 through 15 describe what happened. Let's listen to them. And Absalom happened to meet the servants of David. Absalom was riding on his mule, and the mule went under thick branches of a great oak. <coughs> Excuse me. And his head caught fast on the oak, and he was suspended between heaven and earth while the mule that was under him went on. And a certain man saw it and told Job, Behold, I saw Absalom hanging in an oak. Job said to the man who told him, What? You, what? you saw him? Why then did you not strike him there to the ground? I would have been glad to give you ten pieces of silver and a belt. But the man said to Job, Even if I felt in my hand the weight of a thousand pieces of silver, I would not reach out my hand against the king's son, for in our hearing, the king commanded you and Abishai and Ittai, for my sake, protect the young man Absalom. On the other hand, if I had dealt treacherously against his life, and there is nothing hidden from the king, then you yourself would have stood aloof. Job said, I will not waste time like this with you. And he took three javelins in his hand and thrust them into the heart of Absalom while he was still alive in the oak. And ten young men, Job's armor bearers, surrounded Absalom and struck him and killed him. So Absalom doesn't come out, doesn't fare too well in this story. He uh, uh, gets his head hung up in a tree and then he gets uh, stuck by, by, th by a bunch of uh, spears and killed by Abishai, or Ah Ahithophel's men. But David, in his heartbreak, when he hears about it, had, has these words at the end of chapter 18. And if, you, if you're reading along with me, I'm in 18, verse 33. And the king was deeply moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I had died instead of you? O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. And I believe that David... Um, is feeling uh, guilt for the way he raised Absalom, but Absalom was the wayward son. Again, his ambition drove him to seek his father's kingdom by, doing, by disrespecting uh, him by sleeping with his concubines. He stole the people's hearts at the gate. And, you know, it reminds me of parent-teacher conferences I've had over the years as a teacher where, where parents just talk about their kids, how I can't figure out how to deal with them, I don't know what to do. And uh, the answer is not an immediate answer. It's to do what David did and to do what every parent and grandparent does, is keep praying for your children and teach them the Word of God. Show them unconditional love. Remember that if we read and apply God's Word, He will change our lives. Calvary, I'm praying you have a great day.